I went to the beach with my best friend, and we went surfing. And it was not as disastrous as you might expect. So I traveled to the beach with my friend and his family. All wonderful people, by the way. Top notch. And I had a slam bang fantastic time. People still say that, right? Oh, they never did? Okay. And I went on this trip with them last year and it was equally amazing. Last time we went surfing on a couple of the days and I'd never done that before, but I was given good instruction and I did all right for myself. I stood up on the board a couple times. I'm not gonna brag, but I was kind of an expert. Okay, maybe not quite expert level, but I felt pretty good about myself and I was happy to finally feel like I fully understood the meaning behind the vast majority of Beach Boys songs. Catch a wave and you're sitting on top of the world. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Come on a safari with me. Tell the teacher we're surfing. Surfing USA. And so, with those fond memories in mind, I was invited to go surfing with my buddy and his family again this summer, and of course I agreed. First, we go to a local surf shop, a favorite of my friend's family, to rent our gear. And I get the feeling that everybody that works there has basically been surfing their whole life. They're saying, hey man, how are you? You going out today? And I'm like, yeah. Dude. Obviously, I'm not in my element here. Whatever that element is, I'm not really sure I figured it out yet. So the people at the surf shop ask for our shoe sizes, and my friend says 11, and his brother says 10, and they're both either my height or taller. Now, I'm normally a 12 and a half or 13, but that's embarrassingly large compared to 10 or 11, so I just say 12 and hope that the boots that come with my wetsuit won't be uncomfortably small. When I'm given the suit, I head to the dressing room to try it on. And it must be said that a wetsuit is one of the most difficult garments for a human body to enter or exit. Working one's body into a wetsuit is the ultimate exercise in patience, strength, mental toughness, and elasticity. And that's coming from someone who's worn a skin-tight Spider-Man suit. Yeah! Hopefully other people agree with me here, and I'm not just the one person who can't seem to handle a wetsuit. Anyway, I summon the strength of Zeus and the iron will of Ares, and I pull the suit on, finagling my arms and legs into the corresponding holes. I zip it up, and it feels a little different than last year, but hey, it's been a while, so maybe I'm just not used to it. I mean, it's not like I wear skin-tight, stretchy suits regularly. <laughs> uh and I step out of the dressing room and show my friends, siblings, and cousins, and one of his cousins says, That's weird, the zipper's on the front. That must be a new design. Then I realize that, of course, I've messed this up. I put the suit on backwards, which explains the zipper on my chest, the knee pads on the backs of my legs, and the nagging feeling that putting the suit on was extra challenging this time. So I shamefully walk back into the dressing room and peel off the cattywampus wetsuit, which I figure will fit just fine since it fit okay backwards. Then we head to the beach to take to the waves. It's kind of a cool weather day with semi-cold water, but the wetsuits are designed to keep us warm, so we suit up. A billion times easier said than done. Which kind of makes me angry. I mean, if it takes me this long to put on a wetsuit, how can Batman put on his suit with a cape and cowl and utility belts in like two minutes? That's the one thing in Batman that's a little bit unrealistic to me. The rest is totally plausible. Anyway, we get our suits on and take our boards into the ocean. I have a little Buzz Lightyear style hood that I can put on to keep my head warm, but once I start paddling and heat up a little bit, I take it off and let my wild locks flow free. And the going is a bit rough. I catch a few waves, but almost as soon as I stand up, I start to lose my balance and I kind of dance my way right off the board. And as soon as I fall, I keep getting hit by waves. And while other surfers seem to push right through the waves, I keep getting caught and swirled around underwater. So I'm doing like five somersaults under the surface and getting hit with my own board. And then I pop up and say something like, that was rad, man, and just keep on trucking. And eventually I start to find my groove a little bit and I stand up once and feel better. But of course there's some guy that's a total pro and is like carving his way along each wave back and forth like it's no big deal. And he's a classic stereotypical surfer. I'm talking bronzed skin and semi-bleached dreadlocks. And every time he finishes surfing a wave, he says to us, how'd that look? And of course we have to say, awesome, man. Because it does look awesome. He's amazing and he knows it. I mean, what else are we gonna say? How'd that look? Pretty bad, actually. Frankly, dude, I've seen better. You leaned into it too much, you're showboating a bit. Just too frantic. I mean, too back and forth. You just gotta ease up a little bit. There's too much going on here. And between you and me, 
the dreads aren't exactly working for you. I couldn't say that because none of it was true, though I may have secretly wanted to answer him that way. But hey, we're just here to have fun. So we keep at it and I managed to stand up again, which is cool. And then we decide it's getting a little late and cooling down a bit, so we should go. It's good timing because I realize that my head has gone semi-numb from the cold water. Probably not a good thing. So I get out and start the process of taking off my wetsuit, which I have to do behind a large log so I won't be showing off my killer bod to envious beachgoers. And if you thought putting on and taking off a dry wetsuit was hard, removing a wet wetsuit is on a whole other level. It's like trying to remove your skin. Sorry, that's gross. Imagine trying to take off a skin-tight suit made of the black symbiotic goo from Spider-Man mixed with military-grade liquid cement, super glue, and dried honey. That would be almost as hard as removing a wet wetsuit. <laughs> wet wetsuit. <laughs> Funny. But once I've managed to get through this ordeal, we're on our way back to the beach house feeling good about a great day on the waves. I think the lesson here is that even if you're not amazing at something, if you enjoy it, go for it because it's what makes you happy. Unless it's something like skydiving without a parachute because that's never a good idea. Don't do that. Also, definitely learn how to wear a wetsuit before you put one on because that's an embarrassing situation that can be quite hard to get out of. Literally. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go work on my tan, get dreadlocks, and then figure out how to bleach said dreadlocks. That must be the secret to being good at surfing, right? I hope so, because I'm going for it. I'll catch you later.